Hello everyone, this is Jim, student from the School of Aviation at Özdeğin University and uh, together with my classmates we have put this short video to give you some information about Istanbul's airports and airlines. Istanbul is located where Europe, Asia and Africa joins and it's in the middle of Black Sea and the Mediterranean Sea. Turkey is an emerging economy with high population and middle household income. Almost 40% of Turkey's total GDP comes from Istanbul and it also has visitors as much as its population. There are currently two airports serving the city. The major airport, IST, Istanbul Atatürk Airport, is located on the European side. And the secondary airport, SWA, Istanbul Safiye Gökçen Airport, is located on the Asian side. The new airport, IGA, Istanbul Grand Airport, is planned to be built on the Black Sea coast of the city. Istanbul's main airport had almost 57 million passengers as of 2014. On the other hand, the secondary airport had almost 24 million passengers. And since 2010, both airports have been growing in terms of passenger traffic. Atatürk Airport is operated by Tav Airports, Sabiha Gökçen Airport is operated by Malaysia Airports, and Istanbul Grand Airport will be operated by a consortium of five Turkish construction companies, in which one of them is also a part of Sabiha Gökçen Airport. Istanbul has 80 million annual passengers combining Istanbul Atatürk Airport and Sabiha Gökçen Airport. Regarding to this data, a projection for Istanbul Grand Airport shows that in 2030, Istanbul will have almost 120 million passengers. The major airlines operating in and out of Istanbul airports, respectively, are Turkish Airlines for Atatürk Airport and Pegasus Airlines for Sabiha Gökçen Airport. Turkish Airlines, the flag carrier, had almost 50 million passengers in 2014 and it's 49% owned by the government. On the other hand, Pegasus Airlines, the major low-cost carrier in the country, had almost 17 million passengers and it's 63% owned by ESAS Holding. In 2013, IATA industry profit margin average was 1.8%. Both Turkish Airlines and Pegasus Airlines has better figures than that. And they generated a total of $10 billion. Turkish Airlines being the flag carrier covers almost every continent in the world. They serve to every blue country on the graph. And they have a fleet composing of both narrow body and wide body aircraft. As a contrary, Pegasus Airlines being a low-cost carrier, they serve to mostly Europe and some parts of Asia and they have a fleet composing of only narrow-body aircraft. Besides these two major airlines, we have Anadolu Jet, Atlas Jet, Bora Jet, Onur Air and Sun Express also operating in and out of Turkey. As a conclusion, Istanbul is located on a very strategic position where Europe meets Asia. It's a very large city with a large number of population. There are two major airlines serving the city and city's airports and they are efficiently operated. And for the third airport, Istanbul Grand Airport, forecasts show very promising results. Questions like which airport system is required, what will be the main challenges, how is this transition process is going to happen, and a lot more will be discussed on 26th of March 2015 at Özeyn University. Do you want to join?